Hello, today we are going to be learning how to multiply and divide radicals. First, we are going to learn how to divide, uh, I mean, multiply radicals. So first we have to distribute or use the FOIL method to remove parentheses if there are in parentheses. And then we divide the radicals, I mean, simplify the radicals by using the cutoff method um, uh, to buy, uh, in the prick squares and then combine like terms to get your final result. So this will be our first example. This one is pretty simple. I'm just gonna rewrite it first. This dot in the middle means a uh, multiplication because, whoop, not you. Uh, because this could be taken as a variable rather than a multiplication sign. So if we look at, so first I'm just gonna do one of them first. If we look at this problem, we can't simplify it any further. So this would just be left alone, but we can simplify this one. How we do that is because our eight in the middle can has a perfect square, which is a four and a two. Our two isn't a perfect square, so we just keep that as a radical but we can further simplify our four as two times two equals four. Four is our perfect square. And we would uh, take what we have down. So our eight is no longer needed. And we'll put our two to multiply with our three and we keep the radical two because this will just be taken down. We don't do anything else to it, uh, at least not yet. And then we multiply our two times uh, three, which will equal to six. And we bring that down the two, the radical two. And now also the, our two radical three. Now, unlike adding and subtracting radicals, uh, the terms in the middle doesn't have to be the same. You can just uh, combine them. So we have to combine our six and two. This will give us 12. Now radical three and radical two which will give us radical six. And this would be our final answer. So this is our second example. This one, we have some variables and exponents. I'm just gonna rewrite it to make it, to make it visually more pleasing. So this is what our uh, problem looks like written out. Uh, so what we have to do first is combined, is combine it and make it into one. In front of uh, where this problem is an invisible one. So we combine our two and invisible one and it'll just equal to two. Now everything we just combined, like our, um, we just put these things inside and we combine our um, variables, but we don't combine our uh, numbers yet. So uh, y, I mean x and x. Actually, yeah. Well, actually, no, we do combine our numbers. So our three times six will give us not three, it will give us 18. <clears throat> and then our, x, our two x's will give us x2. And then our y, we just put down along with our z. So first we're gonna focus onto our variables. So we're just gonna rewrite it, right? We write it out in long form like this. Now, because that our y, our you have an exponent, it just means that we have that many of this variable. We have two, so it means we have our two x's. Three exponent means that we have uh, three y's and there's just secretly an invisible one exponent for our z. So if we combined both of our x, it just will equal to one x. That is like our perfect square. Same with our y's, except we have one left over. So we have one left over. And same with our over z, we can't combine it with any other z's because there's no other z. We just have one left. 
And now we are going to simplify our eight, our radical eight, I mean our radical 18, uh, by finding our perfect squares. Our perfect square is our nine and two. But we can further simplify our nine, but we can't our radical two, so we have to leave that one alone. Uh, we can simplify our radical nine by having uh, by equaling to three, because three times three equals nine. And this, our three will equal, uh, will have to be multiplied with our two from here, because we didn't do anything with the it. And now we just write what we have, which is our, which is what we have left of our exponents. Um, forgot to do one thing, which is because we have our, how we have our perfect squares of our exponents, which is just our one y and our one x, we would, well, first we have to multiply our six and two, which will give us six. And we come and we put down our x and our one y. And then those are basically like the only terms we have outside. What we have left would be our two from here. We write that in along with our one y and our one z left which would just we would which we will put inside and this would be our and this i'm going to write it smaller and this would be our final answer now this is your turn i'm just going to rewrite these quickly too so it it's easier to look at So this is how they should look like. Um, remember that these x's in the middle do not are not a variable; they're a multiplication symbol. So this is your time to practice. Um, and now we are going to move on to dividing radicals. So now that we're doing dividing radicals, we kind of do the similar thing, but not really to multiplication. So let's try it out. All right, so I'm gonna rewrite this to make it look easier on the eyes. So this top arrow is going to mean like the exponent of that variable or number. So what we do is to get rid of the radical because you're not allowed to have radicals on the denominator. So instead of using x or the location, we're going to use a dot to represent it in case um, if we use an x, it might get mixed up with a variable. So what we would do to cancel out the radical is just flip the sign. So 3 plus radical 3x squared. And then whatever you do to the denominator, you do on the numerator. numerator. Whatever you do to the numerator, you do on the denominator. So you write the same thing. And this would give you nine minus three x squared. And the top bit will give you six plus two radical three x squared. But we're not done yet because we can simplify this part. So this would equal to six plus 2x radical 3 because over here to squared, right? So we're square rooting it, so it needs to be two of each. So let's write in a different color here. Let's see what Caitlin did before. So there's two, it's like the 
x to the second power. So you're basically doing x times x. And since you're square rooting it, it's actually, oops, it's actually just x. And then we'll keep the denominator because there's nothing much you can do with that. So this would be your final answer. Okay, moving on. Let's rewrite this one too to make it easier on the ice. So four plus three radical two divided by negative three, negative radical five. Same thing as before, we're gonna put a dot in to indicate multiplication. And we're not allowed to have radicals on the bottom. So we're just gonna rewrite it. In order to get rid of it, you would have to flip the sign for it. So this time it would be negative three plus radical five. Whatever you do on the denominator, you do it on the numerator. So you rewrite the same thing. You would just multiply cross, which would get you nine minus five. And then the top would be negative 12. Let me, ne negative 12. plus four radical five minus nine radical two plus three radical 10. That would be your final answer. But nine minus five, you could just change the denominator for actually, so yeah. Um, in case you're still mixed up, if you multiply a negative five, I mean negative radical five times positive radical five, you would get five. Same thing if you just chose to do, um, actually use a different color. Radical five times negative radical five would just give you five. Negative five, sorry because negative times a positive is negative. But if it were positive, you would have a positive five. Same thing if you just have the same number in the radical. You can pause the video and try these on your own. Um, just like Caitlin said, because the font is kind of weird. So imagine as if it were the line was over the bar and the little arrow pointing up and then the six, that just means y to the third power, x to the sixth power, v to the seventh power. Um, we will post answer keys if you would like, if that would help you more. And you can always tell us what you would prefer and how we can help you learn better your learning method or style. If you guys like the videos, we can put up more of that. Um, so today we learned how to multiply and divide radicals. Um, that's it for today. You can review the video more if you'd like. And we don't have class on Wednesday because it is Veterans Day, but we will resume on Friday. That's it for today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.